To draw a circle in NanoCAD, go to the Home tab and then click the Circle button. And when you do, you draw the circle by picking a center point and showing a radius. Notice the small arrow under the Circle button. This shows you additional options that we'll cover later. NanoCAD also draws ellipses, which are flattened circles or circles seen at an angle. The button for ellipses is here and the arrow shows you the options of drawing them, including ellipses that are arcs. Once a circle or ellipse is drawn, you can edit them, change their size and move them. Here I'm selecting the circle and you can see the grips that allow you to manipulate it. You can manipulate them free form or else press the tab key and enter in a precise value. Similarly, by grabbing the center of the circle, you can move it to another location, such as using object snaps to precisely locate it on another object. The ellipse is no different. When an entity is selected, you can come over to the Properties panel and change its values as well. So there I've changed the center point, specify a different circumference. For the ellipse, you have more properties because it has both a major and a minor radius. And you can convert a regular ellipse into elliptical arc by giving it starting and ending angles. NanoCAD has other ways to draw circles and ellipses, and you find these by clicking the small down arrow below the commands icon. So we've seen center radius and center diameter is similar where you pick two points to indicate the size of the diameter. And as you move your cursor, the circle gets bigger and smaller. The two point is similar where you pick two points that fall on the diameter of the circle and three point is three points that fall on the diameter of the circle. Finally, the tan tan radius option makes a circle that's tangent to two other objects and then you specify the radius. And I'll pick this circle, this circle, and then specify a radius. And the circle is drawn tangent to the two other ones. When it comes to ellipses, you can draw by center point or by diameter. Let's try the second one. There is the diameter, and then we show the height of the ellipse. Final method is the elliptical arc, where you start drawing it just like any other ellipse, but then you specify the start and end points of the arc. When you have a circle and you want to turn it to an arc, one way to do that is with the break command. So I'm going to enter in break and then ask me to select objects. Now it's a bit tricky here because the point where you select the object is the first point where the circle is broken. So I'm going to click right here and then the prompt asks specify second break point, which I'm going to put over here. Now the question is which part gets removed? So let me click and now you can see what happens is that NanoCAD starts at the first break point, goes counterclockwise until it reaches the second point. Now the opposite task is to turn an arc back into a circle. And for that we have the join command. So I'll type in join and it asks me to select an object. So I select the arc, press enter once to finish object selection, press enter a second time and the arc is turned into a circle.